Let's take a closer look at invoices and payments in the Core 4 CRM. The Invoices tab will look like this. Here you can create, track, and manage your invoices and payments relating to your company's unique billing process. Let's begin by creating a new invoice. Select the New Record button in the Status toolbar. To add a customer, click into the field and begin typing a name. A contact search window will open. The billing address is populated here. Next, let's specify a shipping address, which may be different from the billing address. Let's add a title. The date is automatically populated, but may be changed if needed. You can assign a due date to an invoice or enter an optional PO number. Terms are set up in the Core Preferences area. We can enter a ship date and a ship via method. Ship via methods are set up in the Core Preferences. Let's enter a tracking number here. This globe will open the FedEx page and automatically enter the tracking number to track the shipment status. Stages are set up in the Core Preferences area. Classes are also set up in the Core Preferences. To add a sales rep, begin typing a name and a contact search window will open. Now let's enter a few line items. Select the New Line Item button and let's add a date. You may edit the description or assign a different class if needed. I'll add the quantity. This checkbox indicates if each line item is taxable or not. I'll go ahead and add a few more line items. Select the red X button if you need to delete an item. To navigate to a specific item record, select this blue arrow. If you wanted to view the subtotal for certain items, then add a subtotal item to the invoice. Subtotal items are set up on the Items tab, just like all of your other items. It will calculate the subtotal of all the items that are above the subtotal line item. I'll add a few more line items to demonstrate. Here we can see the subtotal for custom development and hardware will be $6,750. The subtotal for all FileMaker plugins will be $949.70. Below is where we can specify the tax rate to apply to the invoice. These taxes are set up in the core preferences. Here we have the subtotal, tax, total, payments applied, and balance due for the invoice. The subtotal, tax, and total are calculated based off of the line item amounts and if the items are taxed. The payments applied and balance due are calculated based on the amount of payments applied to the invoice. We'll look at how to apply payments in just a moment. 
Here you may select an optional customer message. You may also add a memo to the invoice here. These checkboxes are indicators if the invoice needs to be printed or emailed. Next, let's apply a payment to this invoice. Select the New Payment button. Let's say John Smith is going to apply $1,000 paid by check. We can add a memo here. Then we can apply the payment to the various invoices that are associated to John Smith. We can see the original amount for each invoice as well as the amount due. Below we can see various amounts for John Smith's invoices. The amount due reflects the sum of all his invoices. The applied amount is what we are about to assign to a selected invoice. If I unselect the first invoice, you can see that the unapplied amount is highlighted in yellow. So I could apply this $1,000 payment to the invoice we are currently working with, invoice 1002. You do have the option to apply payments to multiple invoices if needed. For example, you may specify the amount to apply to each invoice here. Then if we select the first invoice, the rest of the payment will be added to that amount. Below we can see that the amounts for the selected invoices have been adjusted accordingly. Then select Save and Close. Now we can see the payments applied and the balance due has been adjusted accordingly here. If we go to the Payments tab, we can view all of the payments that have been applied to this invoice. If you want to view a payment detail, select the blue arrow. The More Info tab also contains the invoice title and number. This area is reserved for QuickBooks integration. Here you may link this invoice to an opportunity, estimate, or order. The created and modified by date and timestamps track when the invoice was created and by who. There are a few more options here on the left. Select this button to duplicate the invoice. All relevant information will be carried over into the new invoice record. We can also void an invoice by selecting this button. All quantities and amounts will be set to zero, and there will be a void indicator in the memo field. Let's navigate back to the original invoice. To send this invoice as an email, select this button. A new email will be generated with a PDF version of the invoice attached. Select this button to preview the PDF attachment. This is just a brief overview of the many features and possibilities of the Core 4. For more information on what the Core can do for you, please visit core4crm.com, review the videos and documentation, and try a demo. Please contact us via email, phone, or browser form if you have any additional questions. We look forward to hearing from you and automating your business to operate more efficiently.